This is Alan Bush with the Daily Financial Forecast for Tuesday, October 29th. Stock index futures yesterday advancing to new record highs, at least in the S&P and the NASDAQ. Much of this linked to low interest rates, better than expected earnings, uh, better tone to the U.S.-China trade situation. In effect, it looks like there are now talks scheduled for November 17th. Looks like the bears are very much underestimating the impact of low interest rates. Stock index futures have been very strong as of late. Currency markets seeing the dollar index a little bit higher, the euro currency a little bit lower, on rather limited news, although it did look like the dollar coming off the highs with the consumer confidence number here a bit on the weak side. Interest rate markets seeing a rebound as it appears that the Fed is more likely to lower interest rates at the conclusion of the two-day meeting starting today. In fact, there's a 96% probability, according to financial futures markets, that the Fed will cut tomorrow by 25 basis points. Also, gold and silver a little bit lower. I'm thinking, though, that there will be a recovery, possibly even trading higher on the day in the precious metals as traders begin to, to center more on Fed policy. And not just interest rates here in the U.S., but interest rates overseas are all likely to work lower, all of which is supportive long-term to the precious metals. So good trading, everyone. And once again, remember, these are my opinions alone and are not the opinions of ADMAS or Archer Daniels Midland.